Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. My name is Doug, and today we're going to make a really yummy uh, and easy uh, appetizer or some party food for your holiday get together. And you can do it for Thanksgiving or Christmas or even New Year's. It's just a quick little um, appetizer. It's uh, meatballs with pineapple and we're going to be making it in a slow cooker over there. So let's start slow cooking. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. So let's talk about everything you're going to need to make this really delicious appetizer or party food. All right, first of all, you're going to need a slow cooker. So I have a crock pot here. You can purchase a crock pot at Target, Walmart, anywhere. Um, they're great for parties because after it's cooked, you could just keep it on warm and it's just, it's very convenient. Um, so we have our slow cooker, uh, very important that you get one pound of frozen meatballs. I'm going to be using the Italian style, but you can use regular meatballs. Now, the only thing is if you're having a larger group, you probably want to double the amount to so make it two pounds and, um, like two bags. Cause they usually sell them in uh, one pound bags, but if you get a two pound bag of meatballs. That's for a larger group. This is probably going to be good for around four people or so. Um, there's about 20 something meatballs in the bag. So you figure, you know, five meatballs per person, which I think is more than enough. Um, a fourth cup of light brown sugar, just a fourth of a cup. You're going to need a little less than a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. You're going to need one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, about a little less, you know, about a fourth of a teaspoon or so of salt. Um, the salt is really to taste. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper flakes. Um, you're going to need one can of pineapple slices. So I have the pineapple slices here but they need to be drained. Make sure you drain it because the pineapple juice is very sweet. So the pineapples will be sweet. So we don't want to make it too sweet because we have that barbecue sauce going on. We have the brown sugar. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using one cup, approximately one cup of light pineapple juice. Uh, the sugar is, let's see what the sugar is, nine grams. So it's nine grams of sugar. So this can right here has 14 grams. So we want to cut on that sugar a little bit. And um, I'm going to do just a dash of Worcester sauce. And I believe that is it. And so really easy. This is going to go really quick to make. But we will leave this on. If you keep it on low, it'll take about four to five hours to be done. If you put it on high, it'll be two to three hours. So it all depends on what you want to do, how much time you have. So um, after it is done, then at the very end, probably the last few minutes, just sprinkle on top some uh, dry parsley uh, leaves. You can also use fresh parsley leaves if you want, but I'm going to be using dried parsley leaves. And that's it. So let's start making it. So the very first thing we want to do is get a bowl. This is a medium-sized bowl. You could use a large bowl. But what I like about this bowl is that it has this pouring spout, which is important with us when we pour it over our meatballs in our slow cooker. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our barbecue sauce. And remember, this is a half cup of the barbecue sauce. got that in the bowl and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our pineapple juice which is a cup of pineapple juice and don't forget this is the light version we're going to do our brown sugar which is a fourth of a cup we're going to do our soy sauce which is a little less than a fourth of a cup 
I'm going to do my dash of Worcester. <laughs> Just a dash. Okay. Then I have my red pepper flakes. This is, um, once again, this is about a fourth of a teaspoon red pepper flakes. And then we're going to do our onion powder, which is um, one teaspoon. So I'm going to eyeball it. And then same thing with our garlic powder. Black pepper. Black pepper is about half a teaspoon. A little pinch of salt. All this stuff has salt already, but if you're someone that likes a lot of salt, that's fine. Um, and that is it. So now we're going to whisk that together. And if you notice what we did over here is we cut our pineapple into forts. So these pineapple slices. So you can see they make a really nice little slice. Hopefully you can see that. All right. Okay, but we're going to add that later. All right. So now I'm going to turn on my slow cooker. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my slow cooker, get my meatballs ready. This is one pound bag. I'm just using the Good and Gather Italian Good and Gather brand that, that you can find at Target, uh, Italian style. And these are chicken meatballs, by the way. You can use beef, but I like to use the chicken. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to actually put this on high because. Um, I'm gonna, I, I want it to be done in two to three hours. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to pour this all over the meatballs. You want to make sure it's nicely covered. And then we're going to give it a little toss. You can see I'm just coating, making sure it's all coated with that yummy sauce. Okay, once the meatballs have been totally covered with the sauce, that's when you want to add your pineapple slices. And of course, give it another little toss. So now I'm going to cover it. We're going to let this cook. That's how easy it is. We're going to let this cook for about two to three hours and it should be done and ready to serve at our little holiday gathering. Now you might say, Doug, is this German? No, <laughs> this is not German, but this is a German American Christmas celebration. So this is the American part. <laughs> so stay tuned. Okay, so really quick, it's almost two hours now. So what I've been doing for these last two hours, every once in a while, what you want to do is you want to stir and mix uh, the meatballs. Make sure you keep tossing them around. So you want to do this a few times uh, within the two to three hour period. So keep making sure that um, you are stirring and tossing and coating all of those yummy meatballs and the pineapple. And make sure everything is um, stirred well. All right. So I'm going to leave this in here for another half an hour when we come back. We can have a taste test. 
Okay, it's been about two and a half hours. And it smells so good. It looks great. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on low. Actually, I'm going to put it on warm because it is, um, it's done. I am going to just sprinkle some parsley flakes on top. Remember, you can use real parsley. Sprinkle the top. That's all you need. And, oh gosh, this looks so good. I'm going to just put a couple on a plate for the taste test. Yum. The sauce is nice and thick. You can kind of see the sauce exactly what you want. Yum. Add a little pineapple. Mmm. 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 The sauce is really good. Let's have a taste test. And if you are having a party, you could put this on a nice platter. You could leave it in here and have people serve themselves, however you want to do it. Yes, these are totally cooked through. I could tell. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Guys, this is so good, and you saw how quick it, how quickly it goes. You could prepare. Mmm. Excellent. I hope you try this recipe. It's super easy. Slow cooker, meatballs with pineapple. You are going to love it, and so are your guests. Your guests are going to love this at a holiday party. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe and please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends, happy healthy living. Bye-bye.